and welcome back to Property Pals. My name's Vin. My name is Marcus. And we are super excited for another episode of Property, Property Pals. Pals. What episode? Number 13. Is it thir oh, it's wow. 13? Oh, we're 13. Time you flies go. when you're just talking about beautiful now, property. Now, Ben, let's make it quick and snappy today. I think let's it get is quick and snappy. We've had such good feedback by from our nine followers on YouTube that 10 under now. 20 we minutes. We've got 10. We've got 10. Hey, hey, hey. hey, we're going to put we like fireworks ten. around here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I just say, there's not as many houses on the market now. That's a very good observation, um, Marcus. Not many is coming onto the market. Winter, Yep. bit of uncertainty in the market, but without further ado, we have done the work for you and yep. we found the goodies. Oh yeah, I'd so say some goodies. Let's just jump into All it, right. number five. Number five, 77 Melrose Street, North Melbourne Bend. Now Ooh. Ben, what do you think of this one, just when you see it? I call it the brain. The br I can see that. It, it looks, like, looks a like a brain. Now, I'm not necessarily saying this is a, a like an amazing buy. It's a unique buy. It's a unique property. This is without a doubt very unique. Um, what is? Uh, there's got lots of trees there. Look, it's not I too bad. It's, it actually looks quite nice when I look at these photos. It does look interesting. And but Marcus, tell me about the property. How many beds? How many baths? Oh, how many beds? How many baths? One bed, one bath, one car. One bed, one bath, one car. So it's a pad. 60, 635 to 675k. Okay. Yep. So there's a bit of stamp duty efficiency efficiencies there now, if you buy it within that range. Ben, how many square metres do you think the land is? Have a guess, it's now, pretty shallow. I need to have a bit of a look at this. Small. Well, that is not a big one. So what is it? It's about five metres wide, quick. maybe 10 metres long. Yeah, it's 43 square metres. Oh, good eye. So on a rate, oh, quickly, it's $15,700 per square metre. Okay. It's mixed use, Ben, with a okay. DBO. Any development okay. upside? There could be, without having a look at the planning scheme, if it's mixed use, then you could use it for office, you could use it for residential, and maybe there might be some upper level efficiency. However, there's probably a Strata uh, Owners Corporation, right? Oh, maybe with this one. You did, potentially, you, was, um, potentially. It says it was built in 2006, last sold in 2003 for 365K. So it hasn't necessarily appreciated incredibly. True, and just on that point too as well, I, ha I haven't actually looked through the contract to check if there's an OC or not. There might not be, but you do have your own garage entry, which is yeah. just under the property, yeah. so maybe there's not. Um, re last rented in 2018 for $410 a week. It has a garage, $410 a week. $410 a week. Um, ben, now let's look at the floor plan here as well. It has mm. a bathroom and bed on the ground floor. Uh, the bedroom itself, here we go. So, so on the ground floor, but what's on the low, it says lower Sorry, ground floor. Sorry, lower ground floor is your garage. So you can entry in garage for how many cars? Uno. Just one, but it's a bit long. Yeah, That's long. a lot, that could fit almost like a, a very you long. like them longer, don't like you? a very long car in there. Then you've got a bedroom and a bathroom and a laundry on the ground, on the ground level. Yeah, okay. And then on the first floor, you have your living and meals, which are separated. That's interesting. And why do we normally often put the living room up the top level? Well, in this situation, I would have thought it's got better natural light up the That's top. That's right. You can where you spend most, And yeah. where you spend most of your time in the living room. That's what's, I guess, argued. Meals, living room. You could even make... That meal's like a small study area potentially too as well. Yeah, it's got a good stairway. Ben, do you like skinny windows? If you go back... So let's have a look at these skinny. windows. Do you like them skinny or do you like them thick and wide? Well, I think bigger is better in this case this, a lot yeah, of the time. There's a lot of skinny ones in this one. Well, I think with townhouses, often there's overlooking issues and that's why the, the windows are designed in that sort of way. Mm. But look, I think in terms of when I'm looking at the internal photos and when I'm looking at the exterior of the property, it looks pretty nice. It's pretty nice, Ben. Now, let's just go to the location. Location, Ripper spot in North Melbourne. And oh, yeah. When I say Ripper, it's kind of between Macaulay and then a royal, uh, what's that, the gardens, Ben? Just uh, zoom out a little bit. Gosh, here we go. Here we go. You're testing us now. Royal, um, royal Park. Royal, royal Park. Park. Um, but my last question before we move on, would mm. you buy this over an apartment? Well, I think there's a little bit of X factor I with this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, I wouldn't say a stone throw of the CBD, but it's probably a, a stone's really, you know, rocket, not rocket launch, but it, it's hey, within it decent... Um, distance of the CBD. It's in kind of just a stone's throw from the medical precinct. Yep. So near Melbourne University, Park, you know, Royal Park. the parks, Royal Park, the uh, the hospitals along that sort of road. So I think overall, it's pretty good. Yeah, nice. All right, Ben, I'm going to throw it over to you for number four. That's nice and quick. Now, number four yep. this week is number 13 Rose Street, Armadale. Oh, Ben, This Armadale. is a three bed, two bath, one car property. So it's a house that has a is it for auction and it's got a quote range of 1.5 <laughs> to 1.6 million dollars okay, now this property when you look at it the front of it we're going to go through some of the photos it looks classic it looks you know like one of the most kind of cottage homes can i ask is mm. it heritage uh oh i haven't done my dd oh, there oh no you, you. fortunately marcus 
you just pick up the slack sometimes. Mark is going to find if it's heritage or not. I'm not entirely sure. It's obviously built quite a long time ago. I think the layout is very interesting. So if we pop up the floor plans right at the moment, it's two bedrooms. So there's, well, actually they say three bedrooms. However, um, <laughs> well, it is a three bedroom. It is three bedrooms. But that so. one doesn't have a window. What is it? No, both have windows. So the master is upstairs, which is good. So it's got its own ensuite and shower, and it's got a little balcony. It's north facing. So the the master gets the northern light. Also, the living room on the ground floor gets the northern light. It's got room from courtyard. It's got a car space that you can fit there, just in the small area mm. next to the kitchen. It's got kind of a lounge bedroom up the front. Maybe it could be like a home office. Also, too, location-wise, you are literally a stone's throw from Turak train station. I could station. throw a stone. It's almost like, could it be too close? I reckon it's ideal. Okay, now, for someone that wants to be really close to the train station, it's on your doorstep, but you're not directly opposite it. It's pretty, also pretty means much on the doorstep. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like three doors down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so literally six doors down from three the train doors station. Down. Good, uh, good band, that one. Okay, well, there we go. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> heritage overlay. Is there a heritage, heritage overlay? Over I was on the ball. But with that heritage overlay, how about I test you now? Have you checked if that's an individual heritage overlay or if that's just a precinct overlay? Well, Ben, this wasn't my property, so oh, you're, you're, you're oh, you, supposed to do the DJ you You cheeky, one. cheeky man. But with that said, it's a really important point. If you're buying a property to develop, you always should double check the planning restrictions. And if there's a heritage overlay on the property, there may be restrictions on being able to develop it. Now, Ben, um, how much is it asking? Very good point. I think we have put what it's asking right here um, the whole time because <laughs> it took us a while to get there. Yep. 1.5 to 1.6 million dollars. And now, Ben, um, can I just ask a quick question? How much is that per square meter? Come on, there? one, two, three, twelve and a half. Oh, good man. There we go. That's not too bad, isn't it? Done his DD or just done the maths well. But this property, um, what's really interesting in Armadale is the median house price is 2.6 million dollars. And wow. then this one last sold for $1.62 million in January 17. So you would think that they want a little bit of upside after mm. five years, right? Mm. And so it's quoted between 1.5 and 1.6. Mm. I'm guessing it'll be a bit above that range. Yeah. But I think location-wise, ticks a lot of the boxes. Retail, Turek Station, Oorong Reserve, Armadale Primary. Say that one again. Say it again. <laughs> Oorong. <laughs> yep, all right. <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Yeah, oh, wrong no. reserve. Uh, near the bus stop, good layout, three beds, home office, potentially with a bit of retail upside too because you're in that retail precinct. So if you're an architect, an arm, um, an accountant, that front bedroom could be a home office. Yeah, well, that sounds good. And also too, one oh. car on title and then one car potentially might be able to get a permit on the street. So I think this one is a very nice property. Oh, ben, Number three, fire. Marcus, come on. Let's keep the ball Take rolling. Take me to 204 of keep 89 Beach <laughs> Street, Port <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> Asking 1.8 to 1.9 million, three bed, two bath, two car. Now, Ben, directly opposite Port Melbourne Beach in the, don't know that word, one of Port's most discerning Wrong. buildings. Uh, this is classically elegant, quality built living environment is complemented by a private park featuring tranquil gardens, gym and a pool and a walking convenience. Tranquil, that's nicely said. Tranquil. <laughs> Um, Margie, in a prime descri no, come on, let, description to the side. Let's talk about that view. Yeah, it's a prime waterfront location with views over the sands to the bay. <laughs> this second floor apartment has been richly enjoyed <laughs> and impeccably cared for. Yep, um, it's a great view. That is, I think, Marcus, you picked a winner here. Uh, did I pick a winner, Ben? Now, RP data says it's 118 square metres internal. Okay. So quick mass, 118 square metres, 1.9 million. Uh, 16,000 per square metre. So it's 180 square metres. No, 118. Oh, okay. Very well done. Okay. Yes. 16 a square it's metre. a lot. Okay. It's on the second well, floor as well, Ben. It, it does sound like a lot per it's square metre. But then again, location-wise. It's a ripper location, but it's on the second floor, Ben. Now, is that too close to the ground? Is it going to be loud? That is Maybe with cars. But then again, I guess for a house, you're going to be on the ground there. I think it's enough separation from if you don't want to have ground floor exposure. Uh, you still get the views to the beach, and you get to really appreciate those views. Look at that. Mm. Now, I agree, Ben. I think I've got it here that it was built in 200, so I'm pretty sure that was 2,000. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sold for 380k back in 1996, off wow. the plan, I think. Wow. Owned for 26 years. So it's Faces been there east, for a while. Living, and then west from the bedroom. So if you look at the floor plan, mm. Ben, you've got the living at the front, you've got yep. the bedrooms at the back. Yep. The bedrooms are solid size, 4.4 times 3.2 for the master. Yeah, okay, and then the bedrooms 3 by 3 by 2.9 by 3, so it's pretty decent. Yep, and do you like the two car spots? I think they're tandem. I would say that That's does look like a tandem car I space. I like a bit of a tandy. 
Well, like we've said in the in previous episodes, a lot of people would rather two cars as a tandem than just one. True. Exactly. In this case, two is and better than one. And a storage cage. And a storage ben, cage. Do you like having curved walls within your bathroom? I think it's good. Yeah, I think, I think, think a little bit of, bit of curvature. A... <laughs> yeah, like a bit of curvy physique. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah ben, you're into that, aren't you? Look, I think. The living room's pretty good. It looks at the beach. Yes, it's facing east, but then again, you've got the beach front, so you don't get to pick the yes. direction that you're facing. Yeah, and the last thing I want to say, they've got amenities like the pool, so OC fees, take that into account. Mm. The apartment might be a bit dated if you mm. look through the photos, so you might need to update the kitchen and the bathrooms. Yep. Um, lastly, a median value of an apartment in Port Melbourne, let me just quickly, 825k. Okay, but would that... I guess that would probably be two bedrooms, though, included in, you know, two, one true, bedroom, two true bedroom, bed, three bedroom. True bedroom so yes. I guess you probably want to look at um, a three bedroom medium house price. Location wise, Port Melbourne, very Ripper, nice. like, great view. Ben, let's go on to number two. 60. We are smashing through it, Marcus. Now, number two this week, we're Thank going back much. to one of our favourite suburbs, Fitzroy. Now, this property, Marky, I've got a house for you. Is it a good one? Well, it's, it is a, it actually is a king one. Oh, really? Oh, Ben, gee, it's got character. Now, this one is number 63, King William Street, Fitzroy. It is a three-bed, one-bath, zero-car, but I'm going to put a caveat there because in a second I'm going to tell you why. It's maybe maybe you could say it kind of has a car. Wait, does It does kind of has a car. It? Yeah, that comes with it. Genuinely. So we're going to jump right into this one. We're going to scroll through the photos. This one here, let me set the scene for you. This is in a beautiful area in Fitzroy. It is a stone's throw from Carlton Gardens, a stone's throw from Brunswick Street. So you've got all the retail amenities of Brunswick Street. You can walk down to Carlton Gardens and enjoy the Royal Exhibition Centre, go to IMAX, watch a movie, can you stroll around the park like it's beautiful, this area. And then when let's look at the property. Oh, so the... The quote price is, let me just get this up, is $1.7 to $1.8 million. And how big's the land? Well, that's, oh, that's why you're here, Marcus. Man. That's why you're here. Jesus. Now, this Wait, one here, it last sold in June 22. Oh, man. June 2022, yep. so about 12 months ago oh, it sold. Oh, that's unique. Why? For $1.725 million. And what's the quote price? $1.7 to $1.8. Oh, someone's now, been a doozy. prices might have fallen off a little bit in the last 12 months. I think that's... It's obvious, and that's what the media's reporting, so maybe it's come back a little bit. But remember, when someone buys a property, they paid stamps on top of that. Yeah, so, 6.5%. 6.5%, so it's about just over 100 k there. So I'm guessing they're going to want to sell above what they bought it for. However, um, look, maybe not. It also sold in November 2017 for $1.475 million. Now, okay. the median house price in Fitzroy is $1.62 million, so it's around that sort of range. It's a three-bedger, but really, when you look at the floor plans, which will pop right up here, it's kind of like, it, it's a two-bedroom unit, uh, two bedrooms, which are both upstairs. Yep. So one bedroom faces north, which is great, which is probably the masters. They've got a shared bathroom upstairs. Downstairs, the kitchen area there, that's... Probably not big enough to say it's a living room. It's got a kitchen meals area. It's also fairly small. So that downstairs one, which they've counted as a bedroom, it's more of a living room, right? So, Ben, I've got a question for you. Mm. Is that an internal light? Well, like, what's that face on the side? That's is a just courtyard. courtyard. Just a little courtyard there. And is it a park right next to it? That's right. And that's where the X factor comes in here. You are adjoining. It's in a block it's of, I think, odd. two or three uh, well, they're houses or terraces. Yep. And then you're on the corner there. So you face the street and then also to the uh, to the west is a park named King Williams Reserve. And it's 118 square metres of land, Ben. Very good. So then what's that ends up coming out to? About 15 a square metre on land, doesn't well, it? how much is it asking? 1.7 to 1.8. Oh, well. Oh, a bit less than that. I think it's about 14, 13, yeah, about 12. Right. But it's 14. Very good maths, Marky. Now... What's great about this is some people won't like being directly next to a park. I think for this one, it's actually really quite nice. It's a small park in a nice area, and you want the it's back a tiny of the property. Park. It's, a, it's it's a park for a, a park for a couple of mates. What is that? <laughs> but what's interesting about this is that there's no car, and you can't get a car around the back of the property because the access to the rear of the property is via the park. Oh my god, it is. So you open literally under the park. But this is where the X Factor location and the X Factor nature of this comes in. When I said there's no car, there's no car, but there's a caravan. Caravan. And guess what? It and then it's on the property. property. It comes with the property. And so that you could argue that is an extra we can't legally argue that's an extra room, but it it is basically an extra place. It looks gutted. Someone though. else could um could live in there. Could be now this is just thinking outside the box. Mm. 
but that's could, what we do on Property Powers. Yes. This could you like what zone? Actually, what zone is this? Very good. Have a look there. I'm not in touch. Oh, it's neighborhood residential. So I was going to say. Up. Well, I was going to say you could have had a, a cafe going onto the park. That's a very good idea. In fact, oh yeah. Without looking at the planning, the use you can't really do that. But that would be cool, wouldn't look at it? That. That but just open that what, all up. What you could do is, I think it would be awesome for Airbnb. Would it? Yeah, I think so. For the some caravan. sort of boutique, yeah, I think that oh, people would love that because there's a separate bathroom in the backyard. Wait, look, the backyard itself. Look, there's a bath. Look there. Oh wow. Well, yep, a maybe bathroom and a toilet. Doing. I think this for someone that wants to go in there or someone that really likes even like a what's it called couch surfer. Oh yeah. You know, that you, you want some mates, you want to have people coming in there and living there. I think this is a really good option for that. So, uh, I think that's kind of all my notes on it there. Good. I think that is a really attractive property. Number one, ben. Number one, Number Marcus, one. come on, now, where ben, are we? can you bring the photos up, please? Thank you. <laughs> Four bed, two bath, three car. That's 3101 slash 70 Lorimer Street, Docklands. Now, it's asking 2.95 to 3.24 million. It is a penty, Ben. Ooh, what is it's a penty? <laughs> it's a penthouse. It's a penthouse. It is Ooh. a great Probably penthouse. Probably a penthouse. Do you like a penthouse? This is an we epic penthouse of your apartment in Docklands. Double ceiling Wow. Home. Wow. Located on the 31st floor, this stunning penthouse with unparalleled views extending from east across to the north to the west and oh. wait, and right around to the south, capturing the finest views of the city of Melbourne and beyond, right around to Port Phillip Bay with grandiose four metre ceilings and breathtaking, breathtaking panoramic views. Wow. Like, that is awesome. 180 degree view balcony penthouse it's like it's huge and with that too marcus what's really attractive about this is that it's a north facing one isn't it uh let's have a yeah, look yeah the there living room there faces north so you get views of the cbd because it's it says Do docklands you? doesn't it but it's in like the fisherman's bend yeah. location of docklands which isn't part of the it's across the river is, or south of the yarra river is this on mervax um yarra's edge well it's yeah, close yeah i think by. it is i think lorimer's is i think that's mervax well, uh, there's a lot of different developers no, along there. No, so. has like this one, and then Lendlease has another one, or Mab has another one. Okay. So I know Mab did a lot of development down there, but we've got to do our DD there to make sure who so, actually is the uh, developer of this yes, one. But. Um, uh, living at Yarra's Edge, so it's Yarra's Edge, is known for an exclusive community lifestyle that is second to none. Very the new good. owner has access to the Yarra's Edge rec deck heated pool, spa, sauna, and fully equipped gymnasium. That would wow. be awesome. Great location near DFO. The master suite, Ben. Take me to that master suite. Could you just take me there? No, no, you gotta go to the next. Yeah, that's there the one. There we go. You now, know, can I just say something? You know how they've got two floor plans sometimes? One floor plan has like the. It's the to appeal to the different. It? Yep, yeah, got to appeal to the different makes balcony. It's hard to, well, to view. There you go. Look at that. Now, that balcony is awesome, Marcus. Living room's fantastic. Master bedroom, that's a nice size. That's a biggie. 4.6 by 3.3. You like them bigger. That's definitely. And walk in robe there, en suite. The other bedrooms there, so how many? You've got a bathroom shared for two um, bedrooms. Two, and then you've got one. Oh, and you've got a powder room, so they've got to walk around to that bathroom too. But for well, you, if you've got three kids at home, that's awesome. The study there, I think that's quite attractive. That could be for an uh, at-home working area. You're right, Ben. So this for a family. I think location-wise, it's very good. Three cars, two for both parents, one for a child, or yeah. you know, one for parents, two for child. Or you just share them all around. Or it could be for three parents. <laughs> That's right, too, as well. 2023. Yeah, exactly, Ben. Now, Ben, mm. overall, I think this is a great penty. I think it provides great value. Do we know what the internal no, area... No, I tried. Mm. Ben, I tried. Let me try quickly now while you're doing your last thing. Just yeah. a quickie. Look, I think Docklands, for some people, not everyone loves it. But it is a, a great location because it's close to the CBD. This one's on the other side, so you unlock, I guess, all of South Melbourne, you know, South Bank. Keep You've padding. got Fishman's Bend, Port yep. Melbourne, Albert Park, all these sort of places. Albert Park, look, I think it's quite a nice penthouse. Yep, give me one second. I'm just going to try and find the internal area, and then we've got to wrap this one up. We'll make it a quickie, you're going to goodie. Look, I think overall we've had five absolutely super properties this week, Marcus. We have, oh, it says 167 square metres internal, so how much is it asking? So then it's just, it's just under 20k a square metre. That's so the probably what you think, It's though. about that 20k for a penthouse. Well, if it's br brand new, is it? Yeah, uh, just under. It's about 18k, Ben. Is that on the lower range or the upper range? Uh, I took it at the three. I took it at the middle range. Very well done. Anyway, I think we've got five River properties. We hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment below. Be like, the 11th subscribe. subscriber. That's right. We're on double digits on YouTube now. We're, We're huge. Nearly, what are we now on We're YouTube? We're 1,538 wow. on TikTok. Well, thank Don't you all to our it. followers. Uh, and look, leave, members are like, leave a comment about what properties you want us to uh, talk about. Taru. Thanks very much. See you guys. Bye.